Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you've seen by the thumbnail and the title, I've got a lot done to the ransoms. So I'm really pleased about it. Um, but without further ado, let's go on with the video. So I've already stripped one of these down, but I'm gonna strip this one down now. This looks a bit chaotic, but I do know what's going on. So we've got new circlips from Baron Boys. The next thing to do is put the bearing on the shaft. Now I can put the bearing and everything back in there. Unfortunately, I thought I'd be able to paint these, all of the drive wheels for the tracks, but this one I noticed there's a couple of bolts missing and it's quite well worn to the point it's actually sort of rubbed down all the way into the roller area there. So I'm gonna have to weld all the way around the edge, but I need to get it apart to replace these. Then I can build it up with weld and then reinstall it all and paint it finally. The easiest way I found to dismantle this was to undo one side Don't quietly. Sorry. My friend Paul has welded the bottom one of these wheels up. This is the drive wheels. You can see a worn they get just by that there. Now, this other one's round and been welded to the sort of inner bound band, the new inner band. But yeah, you can see how worn it is. Look at the nice job he's made of it there. Who's a clever boy? To paint the wheels, I've got a tin here of Massey Red. I'm gonna thin that down and put it through my gun. It's a bit too much to spray with a rattle can. I'm about to strip the clutch assembly for my ransoms. This is what drives it. But to do this, you need a tool. 
This is said tool, but this is borrowed from Neil Jarrett there. So there's two parts to the tool. I think I'm saying this right in that this bit is for removing it from the engine and this bit is for splitting it apart. So right now, obviously, I've got it off. I just want to split it apart. So we need this bit. We need this little spacer and we need this bolt. First things first, this little retaining washer comes out. There's four screws that hold that on. Then you drop the washer on there, try and get it sort of central. Then we'll put that over. We'll screw that in. Now that's in, you can put the bolt in for removing it. I'm going to first try it with these Nipex grips that I've got. Right, so I'm going to start dismantling this now. These two little dogs here, they, they engage the engine, so you can start the engine with these. So those come off first. Then we should be able to slide these up. So it was obviously worth taking this apart because this pin is pretty well stuck in here. So that would have kind of meant that only one of these was engaging. All that's left to take off is this other pin. Take these two drives sort of, I don't even know what they're called, but they engage the drive. Take those off. So I've just skimmed this in the lathe now. Now it's time to fit the new bearings from Bearing Boys. It's a really nice bearing. I made two new knobs here for the pulls. I think these are what's called the pulls and they engage on the other part of the clutch. So when you pull these up, it disengages it. I'm just putting this clutch together now. So the thought I had whilst doing it is when I relined these shoes, it doesn't always match the correct radius. So what I found is that I had to grind the end of this one and the end of this one very slightly just to make it sit in there nicely. When it sits up like that, see? To counter that, to sort of show this one, you can see you can see how I've ground the tips of it very slightly, mainly this one on, on this side, but see there's a big gap in the middle, so all it's going to do is rub on those two points for a very long time, which could cause the drum to go a bit wavy, and I've just serviced it, so I don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to grind this off of there on both sides and blend it in a bit. So I'm just ready to install the clutch now. I've got both bearings installed there. The circle up installed as well, just got to push the steers, just got to put the seal on, put these springs together and then it should all fit fine. So I've put these two strings on, one either side, 
to hold the little pulls in place because what happens as I found when you try and press this on it pops them out and then you have to take it all back apart again to put them back in position but now it's down far enough I can pull these out so the only thing left to do to the clutch now is put this little retaining piece in Hopefully you can hear me, but I've got the fan running. I'm just about to start painting. I've made basically a spray booth in my garage. Uh, I've put a filter over the big fan, hung the ransoms from the gantry, got my airline there. Just about to make some paint, but yeah, everything's enclosed now. Hopefully it all goes well. So I'm really impressed by how the ransoms just come out. It looks so good. Even just looking at the cover, the new cover that I've got, just everything about it. That paint goes on so well, even for someone like me that's not very good at painting it. It just goes on so well. It doesn't seem to paint run very easily. I don't think I've managed to get it to run at all. So I'm really pleased by that. Also, my fan worked really well. So now it's all painted, I guess it's time to start assembling things. Start by putting the weight carrying roller parts together. I've got all four bolts here. I made these little gaskets so that these alley parts don't touch the steel either side because that causes galvanic corrosion. So hopefully this prevents that from happening in the future.
So that's the gear selector back on now, another job off the list. But I just wanted to interrupt this video and just say thanks to all the people that subscribed this year. My channel's gone from, I think it was about 4,000, maybe 5,000, nearly doubled in size. But I'm 100 people short from 10,000 or just over 100. If we can make 10,000 by the end of the year, I would be so thrilled. Um, it would really make my year actually because I didn't see my channel growing as well as it has but thank you to everyone that's watched, subscribed and liked over the year. I very much appreciate it um, but let's get back on with the video. So it's back on his tracks now. I'm really pleased by that. Um, it's a huge step forward. There's not much to do to the chassis now and it will all be complete. And then I can start getting on with the engine. As I said earlier, if you liked the video, like and subscribe. We're less than 100 people from 10,000 subs. And I'd really appreciate if we could get to 10,000 by Christmas. It'd be fantastic. Um, but yeah, we'll see you on the next one. There's plenty more to come and hopefully two videos a month from here on out. Have a good Christmas and a happy new year. Thanks for watching.